Hi YouTube, this is Robert. YouTube user big on you. Today I'm going to be showing you a few different tips and tricks for your iPhone. And I'm going to begin by showing you um, how to remove the background processes. Let's say if an app is acting, acting up or something like that. So um, my particular iPhone is, is jailbroken as you see. So it allows me to do things like that. And I can actually remove the background processes just by clicking the one button there. But um, for the average user, what you're going to need to do is double click right here on your home button. And as you see, here are your processes um, that's running in the background. So again, to get to it, just double click on it. And then let's say if you want to remove one that's been acting up or if you want to clear them out, just hold on it and they'll begin to shake and then just start clicking and to remove them and that'll remove all your background processes it's just like that now um, that's if you have an app that's acting up or acting crazy or something like that that's one way to do it and another way let's say um, if you got a app that doesn't work quite well and you want to remove it this is how you do it just hold on that particular app like I'm doing there and then just click the X and it will remove that app after you um it asks you do you want to delete or so and I'm gonna say yes and so it just deleted that application and it's no longer there so um for the um let's see where we're gonna go now so I'm gonna go ahead and just you just click the button again to remove the shaking okay and now I'm gonna show you how to remove it with the application that I showed you to remove BG so as you see um, I double click it and as you see I got a lot of apps in there still so and it goes on and on so all I'm gonna do is slide across here and I'm gonna click on remove the BG and then as you see they're all gone there's nothing in there voila and also I'm going to tell you, show you how to enable the Wi-Fi. You could also do it with this app here by just clicking on the Wi-Fi button. But I'm going to show for the basic users um, whose phone is not jailbroken. You just go ahead and click on settings. Okay. And then once you're into settings, we're going to scroll down until you get to general. As you see there, I'm going to click general. Then we're going to scroll down. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong menu. So, what you're going to do is just go into settings, and then you see right there where it says Wi Fi. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to cut it on, and then there's my network there. So, all I have to do is touch on it and enter the password if I have to. It's the Gen X computers. That's my particular network. So all I have to do is touch on it and enter the passcode if it asks for one. If not, that'll connect you right to your wireless network if you want to be um, connected to your wireless instead of your um, using your data plan, which most people prefer to do. So to um, power off your iPhone, very simple. Just hold down the top button here. And it's going to get to this menu and you can slide to power off. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel. So, let's say, let's say, um, let's say that you want to reset your iPhone. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. To reset your iPhone, hold down on this top button here and your home button. So, I'm going to hold down on them at the same time. And I'm just keep holding it right past that menu. And now I'm released after the screen went black. And I'm going to hit the power button again. And it's going to power on. Now this is a full reset. So now the iPhone is going to... Um, Go ahead and reset. It's just reloading and everything. This is how if you're really having some bunch of issues with your iPhone, let's say things not working, apps not working, um, 
uh, just tons of problems you know with your internet or whatever that's what you want to do you want to reset and it should fix most basic problems if you got uh, if it doesn't fix that then you probably have something else going on and you might want to take your phone in but um, these few things I've done here are some of the basic ways to fix a lot of basic little problems with my iPhone it's a pretty solid phone but you do have to do a hard reset like I just did there and you do have to remove background processes on occasion because it, it the phone will just start beginning to act um, up really bad and that solves it so it takes a while to boot back up of course but once it's booted back up everything should work just fine so I'm gonna go back in there and as you see it's powered on with no issue so I just wanted to put this video up here it's just a really basic simple video for um, um, for, with some basic things I get a lot of requests for basic videos this is not for um, people who know the ins and outs and a lot of a lot of that stuff um, already about the iPhone this is for uh, people who don't know how to do these um, simple things or basic things this will work for iPhone iPod iPod touch or or iPad and um, it, it does fix a lot of issues and you'd be surprised how many people who don't know that's why I get um, get the request and that's why I'm fulfilling the request right now if you do know a lot of other techniques and tricks please post to the board or help some another user if they post a question and um, just wanted to get this out to you was working late and wanted to get um, get this video out and for all those who haven't seen the shop I'm going to show you guys the shop real quick so not too special here very small shop so and as you see it's a big mess because I need to do a whole lot of cleaning so let me back up and that's really junky and that's the shop for all those who haven't seen this is Robert YouTube user big on you signing out Thank you for watching my video. Please like or subscribe with the button below. It keeps me posting. Thank you.